This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. In this video, we'll take a look at working with templates within Parallels RAS and cover topics like versioning, using tags, scheduled recreations, and more. Parallels RAS provides administrators with seamless operations to create multiple versions of the same template, which then act as a golden image to provision session host servers based on RDSH, VDI, and Azure Virtual Desktop. The template versioning functionality offers the ability to validate new versions before deploying them into production and simplifies the process of rollback to previous versions. Version tags minimize manual operations, allowing you to easily promote a version to production to ensure that end users always have access to the most up-to-date image version. Administrators can also easily schedule the recreation of session hosts as well as an entire host pool. For example, to perform the recreation at the next maintenance window in an automated way. In this video, we'll take a look at all of these features that contribute to enhancing the overall template and application lifecycle management within Parallels RAS. This is the Parallels RAS console, and we've landed on the site overview page. Let's take a look at template versions first. In this demo, we use Azure Virtual Desktop as the example, but all of these features also apply to RDSH and VDI. Go to Azure Virtual Desktop and select Templates. As you can see, we already have a template created. At any time, you can review the current versions of a template. Right-click the template and select Versions. Note that we currently have three versions of this template available. When opening a template version, you can change the name, description, and version tag. These version tags are also customizable, as we'll see later on in this video. You can create up to five different versions for each given template. Let's now create a new version of this template. Right-click the template and select Maintenance. Now select an existing template version as a starting point for the creation of your new version. As you can see, you can select any of the existing versions. Click OK to enter Maintenance mode. Parallels RAS will now prepare a virtual machine based on the selected template version. This process takes a few minutes to complete. Once ready, the status changes to maintenance, indicating we can now start to apply our changes. For this demo, we will RDP into the template image VM and apply the change manually. But you can, of course, also use any automated or scripted way to make changes to the template image VM. Right-click the template, go to Tools, and select Remote Desktop. Once inside the template image VM, you can make any changes as desired. For the purpose of this demo, we will install Microsoft VS Code as a new sample application. But you could, of course, at this point, for example, install the latest Windows updates or perform any application or operating system changes you require. Once you are ready and happy with the applied changes, log off from the template image VM. You are now ready to create a new template image version. Right-click the template and uncheck Maintenance. You are now presented with two options. When selecting Discard Changes, all changes applied to the template image are discarded, and you are basically being reverted to the point in time before entering maintenance mode. In this case, we create a new version. You now have the option to specify a name, description, and version tag. The version tag allows us to promote this version, for example, as the new pre-production image. For this demo, we select pre-production and click Next. The wizard now provides an overview of which host pools are affected by the version update, based on the pre-production tag we specified. At this point, you can configure when you want the session host servers of these host pools to be recreated. Select Host Pool and click Configure. You can now either perform the recreation immediately, schedule the recreation, or skip it for now and perform it at a later time. To schedule the recreation, click Start Recreation On. You can now specify the date and time when the recreation should occur. For example, during the next maintenance window, this Sunday at 7 p.m. Optionally, you can configure drain mode. This makes sure that existing user sessions will continue to work, but no new sessions are allowed until after the recreation. And you can also enforce the recreation after a specific time to ensure the recreation does take place. These options allow you to create and prepare a new template image version during the day and schedule the recreation during off-peak hours or at a given maintenance window. You can configure the recreation of each individual host pool. For this demo, we will skip the recreation of the second host pool. Click Finish and apply the configuration. The status now shows leaving maintenance mode, indicating the image version is now being created. Once complete, right-click the image again and select Versions to confirm the creation of the new template image version. 
You can also define schedules to perform the recreation in an automated way based on a schedule. Go to Schedules and click on the plus sign. You have the option to recreate a specific host or recreate all session host servers within a given host pool. Within the schedule, provide a name and description. Next, select the host pool you want to apply this on. Open the Trigger tab and configure when to perform the scheduled recreation. For example, you can have all session hosts be recreated every day at 6 a.m. in the morning. This ensures users always log on to a freshly deployed host. Again, this applies to VDI, RDSH, and Azure Virtual Desktop environments. Optionally, configure a message to be sent out to active users. And, similar to what we've seen before, configure drain mode and force the recreation after a specific time. Since you can have multiple versions of a template, you can also assign multiple versions of the same template to various host pools. For example, when opening up host pool 02, note that this host pool uses the base version of our template. And when opening up host pool 01, note that the same template is being used, but a different version is applied. This allows you to provide a pre-production version of your template to a small subset of key users to test drive functionality at an early stage, or apply different versions of the template to different types of departments and user personas. And finally, recall that the version tags are customizable. To perform customization, go to Settings and open the Template Versions tab. From here, you can change the tag names as desired. This concludes the video on working with templates within Parallels RAS, enhancing and simplifying your update management and application lifecycle management. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the Parallels TechBytes series.